you've uh, been here for a while now. Have you enjoyed your time here in the UK? I enjoyed everything, but except the weather. It's too cold, man. You know, um, I, 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 I'm shocked how, you know, just from like what I see on TV, I was like, man, I'm going to the UK. Brexit happened. Damn. I'm going to be like, you know, I, I figured there's going to be like, you know, since Brexit happened, I'm like, fuck, I'm going to come to America. I'm going to come to the UK and I'm going to deal with this Brexit BS. But actually, man, the UK seems more like you see, you see more diversity and people intermingling more than you do in the US and some, in some places. So I, I, I think it's pretty cool besides the cold weather. I think it's good. Well, speaking of the cold weather, a place that will be cold on March 31st will be the Windy City. You like that segue? Um, in Chicago, you're going to get your rematch with Rampage Jackson. Are you happy that you're going to get opportunity to get revenge on him? Yeah, you know what? Like, really, it's, I'm, I don't really see it as revenge. I just feel like revenge on the judges because most of the media had me winning. Quentin thought I won because he asked me for a rematch after, like, before the results were read. So what does that say? Um, but I'm going to go out there and handle business, man. I'm, I'm already in shape. I'm ready to go. And, uh, you know, I'm just going to whoop his ass. I got Ram to. Rampage said this might be his retirement fight even. Maybe, I mean, if, if he does end up retiring, would that be a feather in your cap to give him an L on his way out? Uh, I don't know. I, don't, I didn't even thought about that. You know, I heard, like, you don't never know. You never know what, what it is with Quentin. He probably saw Tito get a lot of love finally because Tito's been around, but he ain't got no love till he actually retired. You know, he got, he got love earlier, but then he went on a 10-year losing streak. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And then... uh retired on a win and he probably th thinks that hey if i retire i'm gonna get love too but you know i don't know i, don't, I really don't care what he's doing i'm a, i'm my thing is i'm gonna I'm delete delete you know what i'm saying like you know broken matt hardy and uh, brother nero say i'm gonna go out there and delete him why heavyweight why not try to make him cut weight down to light heavyweight where you normally fight well bellator contact was like hey mo we got you a fight i'm like verse who is like we can't tell you, but we do know that it's either a heavyweight or 235. So I'm like, oh, it's that punk Bobby Lashley. Probably fight Bobby. But I thought it was going to be Bobby Lashley, but it wasn't. So then what ended up happening was, like, I signed a contract, and then backstage, like, you know, at the fight for the Chael and Tito thing, I'm backstage, and, like, Mo turn around. That's your, fight. That's your opponent. And see Quentin looking 120 pounds, 120 kilos, you know what I'm saying? All of 120 kilo Quentin. He looked big, you know what I'm saying? So I figured he can't make 205. So I'm still fighting as a heavyweight. I don't do catch weights. In your mind, how do you see this fight playing out for you? In my mind, I'm, my thing is, my goal is to torture him. Torture him, wrestle him, box him. Be like, be like, a, be like a hornet, like a wasp nest, where he's getting stung everywhere. I'm going to punch him knee and do everything I can just to just to damn it. I'm gonna, if I have to break his toe I step it on it, I'm going to do that. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to be all over him. Junkie Nation, I will be at the gathering, just let y'all know. You know what I'm saying? King Mo is always going to be in the house. Have to let y'all know that.